assalamu alaikum uh, today uh, we are going to study policy analysis that uh, how a policy can be analyzed we will start from this question that how a certain policy or a, a combination of policies uh, be analyzed to uh, to attain the goal of uh, public betterment or the for the good of people so before uh, starting this slide i hope to uh, welcome you all in this online session which we have started uh, in our political science department uh, which is very which is very much uh, effective and uh, i would really like to uh, implore your feedback on this slide so that i may improve myself <clears throat> so moving further uh, our uh, first of all this is the introduction this is the introduction of whole slideshow uh, introduction of uh, complete session which i am conducting here uh, this is the outline you can say of this topic number 1 we will uh, discuss in this uh, session that what is public policy uh, i mean it is what is the basics what are the basics of public policy how we can identify or distinguish among other policies and uh, the public policy what is policy analysis the th second question which we will uh, answer in this session is what is policy analysis how can we analyze a policy what are the major uh, determinants and ingredients of policy analysis number 3 uh, approaches of policy analysis that what type of approaches are important to analyze a policy process of policy analysis Uh, how a process how uh, one step of a policy leads to another step and then to another and uh, a process is started for the policy analysis <coughs> sorry steps in policy analysis which we discussed in our previous lecture which we uh, we which we discussed in our previous classes that how steps what are those steps and how are those steps can be taken in a direction of an analysis of a policy types of policy analysis the last topic which we will uh, discuss is the type of analysis so moving further okay what is public policy we will uh, start this uh we will discuss we will start to discuss this we will start to understand this by revising few definitions to clear your mind and to uh, clear your concept of public policy uh, to recall to your mind the public policy focuses on the public and its problems which means that a policy is nothing a public policy is nothing if it is not an uh, addressing the problems faced by the public so this is the reason why we conduct why we focus on certain matters because we are to fulfill the agenda we are to fulfill the uh, agenda setting of uh, public second definition is the study of how why and to what effect governments pursue uh, particular courses of action and inaction which means that uh, the government uh, should ask itself that government should prepare itself to uh, affect to maximize its effect on the people on the public betterment so number third is what government do 
why they do it and what difference does it make we discussed this definition thoroughly in our uh, previous classes i uh, discussed this with you i discussed with each of you this very particular definition given by die 1976 that government do what government do why they do it and what difference does it make if we dissect this uh, definition if we uh, break down if we present the breakdown of this definition we understand that th this is the first question the government the first question for the government that what government should do what government should do to pursue the goal of public betterment this is the first and prime goal this should be the first and prime goal of a government to think that what uh, what is the capacity of that government <coughs> sorry excuse my throat um, i have a infection so uh, what governments do what is uh, the capacity how much a government can do something in uh, for example i i'll illustrate an example for you to understand to make your mind more clear than uh, make more your uh, mind your clear make your mind more clear sorry for that is what governments do what is the capacity for example a government is undertaking some uh, measures to curb the crime to curb the Uh, increase of street crime in a particular society or in a particular city so government first of all government devise a strategy in which uh, it will answer the ability the capacity to curb that street crimes it will include the uh, police force it will include the paramilitary forces to conduct such operations by which we can say that uh, government is doing something what governments do so i highlight this section that which we which we are currently discussing is uh, what government do so this is this is this is important so you should ask yourself when analyzing a policy when making uh, a policy analysis that what governments do and the second question should be why they do it i mean why it it is it is very example that it is very uh, very common example that uh, if the government is doing nothing we say why government is doing nothing so when the government is doing nothing we question that government that why the why the government is not doing something for street crimes i suppose let's say for street crimes for instance why they why the government is not doing something to stop the criminals from looting so if the government do something if the government uh, make a policy to stop the uh, to curb the crime the increasing crime in streets why the government do because government wants to attain the maximum objective of public good and the third question is what difference does it make so there are three questions what this signifies this uh number uh, the first one uh, which i am erasing right now is this is uh this what governments do is the uh process the capacity this is the capacity which we are talking about this is the capacity which we are considering in, in this slide second question is why they do it the second question relates to relates directly to the importance of the objectives what objective 
uh, what are the objectives which a government can attain from that number three what difference does it make it means that if a government is doing something it means that it's if a government is devising a strategy or a plan to curb street crimes in a society or in a uh, in a country what difference does it make so how you are going to feel the differential between a policy among different policy previous state and the current state so let me ask one question here and we will move further that if a government is doing nothing in a society let's suppose a country let's suppose a country a uh, in that country there are a number of street crimes there are number of issues happening in that Uh, particular area of a country and government is doing nothing so you ask the question why government is doing nothing that is the previous state when you ask when the people of that community ask why a state why the actors of a state is not doing something this is the previous state but when a government starts to do something the when the government uh, increase the capacity increase the involvement of security in a society and the curve of uh, the crime the curve of uh, increasing crime diminishes and go uh, deep down so this is the current state so what is the differential in the previous state the crime rate is higher than the optimum level and in the uh, second stage when the government intervened the difference is the lessening uh, the lessening of crime rate in a society number 3 uh, number uh, i think 4 yes number 4 uh, definition is the study of nature causes and effects of public policies that this is the uh, study of nature nature of what nature that causes something and study of nature of effects there uh, we discussed uh, i discussed in our previous class that uh, in in our pre- in my previous classes that what are the causes and what are the effects of those causes and how those these two types affect public policies so these are the uh, revision this is this is the uh, definition of public policy in our time frame when we discussed uh, in the previous classes moving forward the next slide is what is analysis this is very important question you should ask from your side what is uh, analysis urdu mein hum isko tajziya kehte hain jaiza kehte hain a systematic examination and evaluation of data or information by breaking it into components part to uncover their interrelationships you see i am uh, highlighting some important words so you may understand this definition a systematic examination the first word is uh, i told you the technique in my class how to dissect a statement this is the technique which i am presenting you right now systematic examination let me elaborate systematic what is systematic examination systematic examination is uh, the examination of a process of a state of a policy in a step wise manner and evaluation of data or information that we evaluate we evaluate data or the information for what purpose why we why we do this because 
we are answering this question because we are stressing on analysis we are doing analysis that is the reason that is the core reason that we should uh, we should ask that if we want to uh, if we want to draw analysis of something we need to do this these steps we need to uh, ask ourselves that we should examine we should evaluate data info or information by breaking into its components we are breaking into its component parts for example <clears throat> if i ask you to uh, give me the analysis of uh, a toy or uh, you can say a machine what uh, will you do you will uh, go you will open that uh, machine you will uh, screw up that machine and you uh, give me the uh, list of uh, devices list of the uh, things the list of the data by which some uh, machine or some thing or some statement is made up of similarly when we discuss policy when we understand when we talk policy what we do is we take an uh, statement we take uh, a statement and what we do we uh, elaborate it we we dissect it piece by piece one by one and after reading that after analyzing that we do we uh, increase our uh, analysis we give our analysis so the component parts are important and their interrelationships so analysis is what analysis is systematic examination and evaluation of data or information by breaking it into its components to uncover their interrelationship this is the goal this is the goal uh, follow my red line this is the goal this one yes to uncover to uncover their interrelationships this is the goal of analysis when you uncover the interrelationships you will and you will understand the phenomena why something happened why a statement is issued on a certain ob subject okay next is what is policy analysis <clears throat> we discussed analysis separately to uh, to draw the uh, understanding to know uh, what is the meaning behind that concept so policy analysis is determining which of various policies will be most effective to achieve a given set of goals in the light of the relations between policies and the goals so this is policy analysis we take different policies we take various policies we ask the policy makers the government ask the policy makers to devise a list of policy on certain matter for example we are uh, we are uh, from the beginning we took Uh, the example of street crime <clears throat> let me uh, exemplify here as well that if the street crimes are increasing in its number and government asked uh, the policy makers to make some policies draw a list of policies to uh, uh, to curb the uh, increase in the street crime a list uh, will be prepared and now given to the competent authorities the second step will be 
that authority will choose the effective policies the effective uh, and important policies to uh, achieve the goals so when the goals and the policies are in collaboration when the goals are corresponding with the policies and the policies are uh, corresponding with the goals which we want to achieve we can say uh, the this uh, equilibrium is the policy analysis when the equilibrium equilibrium is disturbed when the equilibrium is uh, is in, in 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 the movement is not stable it means that policy is not going into the into the uh, desired direction so what we do we uh, measure we correspond with the goals the policy makers is uh, the policy makers correspond with the goal so uh, here i am uh, relating this this uh, this thought this notion to the question what is good policy if i ask from you uh, frankly uh, what is good policy uh, good policy means how you define that this how you categorize a certain policy is a good policy or a bad policy okay think uh, on this and uh, write down your answers uh, and by the end of the lecture you ask yourself that is it the good policy or a bad policy the good policy is in which the goals and the uh, policy is in equilibrium which means let me uh, give you an example increase in checkpoints the police checkpoints in certain areas where the street crimes uh, is in play so this is the policy given by the uh, policy makers to increase the security checks on uh, on that area okay so this uh, this policy this goal directly correspond with the object objectives with the goals which we want to achieve which a government wants to achieve so this is uh, uh, this is what i am uh, trying to uh, say that when these two things are in equilibrium uh, government is doing something which is deliberately connecting with the goal this is good policy and what is the bad policy what is uh, when we say uh, what is bad policy bad policy means that if a certain goal if a certain policy is not uh, in array with the goal with the objectives for example uh, let's say street crimes are uh, in a certain area are increasing and the government uh, does not increase the security check instead it uh, makes something uh, other than security check like uh, it ask the people of the community to look out for themselves so this is not uh, in array with the goals so that policy is not the policy of uh, important policy next slide is carl v patton's definition of policy analysis <clears throat> and the previous was the concept the previous was uh, derived from different authors different policy makers but uh, carl different uh, carl uh, gave this definition of uh, the policy analysis according to carl v patton uh, the process through which we identify and evaluate alternative policies or program that are intended to lessen or resolve social Uh, economic or physical problems this definition uh, more or less uh, is uh, equal to which i explained to you in my previous uh, slide that the policy alternatives 
the policy programs uh, the programs or a plan to resolve or lessen the social economic and physical problem for example there is a social issue street crime the people are suffering from street crime they are they are not feeling safe in their household on their motorbikes in uh, in an alley in, a, in in their colony so the government do something government increase the security checks and uh, that we discussed what is economic economic is when government uh, take the measures to break the monopoly of some uh, enterprise <clears throat> it is the responsibility of uh, a government to check uh the resources check the uh to uh, keep an eye on economic exploitation by the uh, major and uh, uh, by the class of those people by the class of those traders which are exploiting the small uh, businesses small uh, enterprises in our community in our country so government do something government take an action government in uh, you can say introduce subsidies <clears throat> to give the uh, unwealthy or the small enterprises benefits in the business sector physical means that when government is doing something physically when government is implying something Uh, applying something physically to ensure that problems can be that problems are solved 